This is my house called Aoki's Playhouse. You took your shoes off, very good. You know, Japanese household. But yeah, it says uh, one part art gallery, another part, you know, health, the health resort. You wanna show me around? Yeah, sure. This is the road, a little hallway to my studio. You know, some of the clocks here from some of the records that did well. Welcome to my studio. This is the Neon Future Cave. I teleport into a different world. How long did it take you to get this how you wanted it? Um, it took about a year plus, a year and change. This whole room was a movie theater and it was all red and carpeted. And I wanted my studio to be different than every other studio I've ever entered. All the studios enter, I enter, they're moody, they're dark, and I understand why. When you have a, a vocalist in there, they need to get into the headspace. But when I'm working, I need it to be bright. I need to feel charged up, energized, staying true to Las Vegas theme. There's no clocks in here. Because I don't want to know the time. I want to be in here and feel like it's three in the afternoon when it's three in the morning. It's a proper man cave, but it's a studio cave. So you have to make a cave top cave ceiling, but this is also designed in a way that's not just aesthetically a great feeling, but it's acoustic. So what's a typical session entail when you're in here? Um, a, a typical session, I'm, I'm sitting right here. Sometimes I'm jumping over here, this is my synth station, and you know I'll, I'll be noodling around here, all my different synths, and I have instruments over here, literally all in-house. Vocal booth is right here. The control station right here controls the, sh the whole ship. If I'm making music that's hitting culture right now, by the time it comes out, it's already in the past. So I have to predict where we're going with music. And if I'm wrong in that prediction, more often times than not, then I'm gonna fall back as an artist. But if I'm right above average, or more times than not, then I'm gonna stay ahead. Continue the tour. Hey, let's go. The Guinness World Record, how did these come about? These two right here happened at the same show in Los Angeles at the Shrine, 2013. This is an interesting one, lighting, most people lighting a glow stick simultaneously. This one, the longest crowd, the longest screen by a crowd. And then this one right here, the largest gathering of zombies, 15,000 zombies. It's a very infamous thing in Minneapolis, a zombie pub crawl. And then this one is the most traveled musician in one year. It says performing a total of 168 shows. In 2012, I think I broke 300. So they didn't include 140 shows. And they couldn't because they could only go by the adjudicated fact-checked uh, website. So this number is actually much higher. Let's go upstairs. Was this you playing football? That's me Freshman right there. Yeah, yeah, yep, that's me right there. <laughs> Barely, I, I, I was, I was the, the best bench warmer. Yeah, you wanna jump into the foam pit? Sure. This was a racquetball court. I don't play racquetball. So, but I love jumping into foam pits. I'm like, we're gonna make a foam pit room. I always was um, jealous of my friends that had like skate ramps and all this fun stuff in my house, but like the coolest would be a foam pit. Get in there. After you. No, you go you first. Gotta, wait, you gotta show me uh, a, a Go, trick. you go. I, I got like, you know, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the host. I'm the host with the most. Jump in, land on your butt. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good jump. That was a, that was a committed jump. Yeah. Ah. Who are some of the cool folks you've had in here? Uh, I had Sean White in here. I had like a Cirque du Soleil uh, acrobat. Um, Dan Bilzerian. So another really cool part of this house is my obsession with certain toys. So this is the toy room. I shagged out the whole, all the walls. Jeez. It's all about really this artist right here. Central focus is cause. These are my, my favorite artists. And majority of these are his toys. But most of the artists I collect are either street artists or Japanese artists. And when did you decide you wanted a carpet everywhere? I just thought this was a cool idea to like come in this room and it feels like a playhouse. Yeah. And I wanted it to be bright yellow and blue and pink, pink pops. This card is a lot of money. This card's like, like minimum, it's over a million. 
Wow. Minimum. Minimum is over a million. But I wouldn't sell it for under 2.5. Can you believe like this card you're holding in your hand at this size has that much value? No, not at all. And I bet a year and a half ago you would have never thought that either, right? Yeah, no, I wouldn't have. I, of course not. This is the most sought after rare, rarest Pokemon card in existence. It's the Pikachu Illustrator card. I think there's only like 40 of these made and they're only given out to certain people. And then probably the most iconic card of sports, the Michael Jordan rookie card. And a 10. And a PSA 10. There's only over 300 some odd numbered uh, PSA 10s out there in existence. It just recently sold for over $800,000. I got it for 85 grand. The Kobe Bryant Topps Chrome rookie card, another GOAT, all PSA 10. And the Mike Trout PSA 10. I have the full Marvel catalog of cards. I mean, we're, we're talking like every single year, full collection of Marvel. The last thing you have to do, you know what you have to do? You have to run off this right here and jump in my pool. Let's go! Come on, I'll do it with you, ready? All right. Let's go! <laughs> you all right? Yeah, you feel that when you land. I know, you land on your ass, that's why. <laughs> How did I do on the jump? Uh, I would say a six out of 10. You did a full committed jump, which was great. I just liked how far you went, that was great. But the problem is when you jump out, when you lean back, you don't have control and then I, I knew you were landing on your ass and I knew, I knew you were gonna smack your ass pretty good. You've had many years of experience with uh, uh, Yeah, I've kicked like at least 20,000 people at this point and you're the 20,000 and first kick! <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was good. That was a good cake. You want some cake? No, no, I don't. No. <laughs> you want to get a photo? Very let's good. Get, let's get a photo. <laughs> <laughs>